It's tragic. It is horrific. And the most frustrating thing about it is that it was entirely preventable. This crisis that is unfolding is the direct result of political decisions made by Joe Biden and his administration. Three decisions in particular provoke this crisis. Number one, the first week in office, Joe Biden immediately halted construction of the border wall. I visited portions of the wall that had been constructed. Where it had been constructed, it was affected in slowing illegal immigration. But the construction's not complete, so there are huge holes. The instant Joe Biden was sworn in, construction halted. The holes were left wide open. Illegal immigration is crossing through the holes. There was rusted rebar sitting in huge piles on the ground. They literally just stopped and left large construction equipment still left at the wall item. The second decision the Biden administration made was to reinstate the failed catch and release policy so that now when individuals are apprehended, they're given a court date sometime in the future, they're released, and everyone knows that only a very small percentage will ever actually show up to that court date. And third, probably most inexplicably, Joe Biden ended the Remain in Mexico international agreement, one of the most significant accomplishments of the Trump administration. As President Trump had negotiated with the government of Mexico an agreement that individuals from Central America who are crossing illegally through Mexico would remain in Mexico while their asylum cases were proceeding here in the United States. That agreement, a landmark agreement, resulted in a dramatic decrease in illegal immigration. Last year, in the year 2020, we had the lowest illegal immigration in 45 years. The policies were working. Unfortunately, Joe Biden, his very first week in office, ripped to pieces that international agreement with Mexico and said, in effect, send all of them over to the United States. And that has produced a deluge. The Secretary of Homeland Security has said the number of illegal crossings on the southwest border is the highest that it has been in 20 years. Last month, in the month of February, over 100,000 people were apprehended crossing illegally. Last month, in the month of February, nearly 30,000 children, unaccompanied children, were apprehended crossing illegally. Right now, today, the Biden administration has in custody over 16,000 children. Down in the border, in the Biden cages, and here at the Dallas Convention Center, where even though children are spread six feet apart, you still have 2,200 teenage boys interacting, eating meals together, socializing together, and the rate of COVID-positive testing here at the Convention Center is roughly 10%. Virtually identical, the rate of COVID-positive testing down in the Donna facility, roughly 10%. If that math holds up, that means of the 2,200 teenage boys here, roughly 220 will test positive for COVID-19. In Harlingen, of the illegal immigrants being released, they're testing positive for COVID-19 at a rate seven times higher than the U.S. population. This is a humanitarian crisis. It is a national security crisis, and it is a public health crisis, and all of this was entirely preventable. 